There's two of the little balers. Wonder where the fleet is. Morning, everybody. Welcome to Monday. Oh, yeah. Big power. So, you guys remember this project from a couple days ago? The sprinkler right over there? And the giant tracks right back there? We're going to use this loader, haul some sand into them tracks real quick because. I still have water in the pond. I'm irrigating my oats again, trying to drain the pond down. Cause we get irrigation water here again today. Good stuff. Somebody commented on my short, showing me pulling the sprinkler, saying, man, why don't you just wait for the ground to dry out and let the sprinkler walk itself out? Well, that sticky mud, it's been right out a week. Just shy of a week, actually. That was like Wednesday. I still would not be able to walk that thing out on its own today. My pond is almost full, meaning I would have to board off water and let this corn suffer when it desperately needs irrigated. So there we go. Now I just need probably about four more buckets there. May sprinkle that way. Got a couple of spots on the next two tracks. So this is what our local gravel company calls dirty sand or unwashed sand. It's got a lot of little rock. It's nice. Normally we do this in the winter with you know a big loader and a tractor and cart to where with our cart, you could probably start about there, and one load would get you to about here. It's not a very big cart. Okay, lots more to go. Just shy of two hours, and we got the first one done. The next two combined better not take near that long. Apparently, this tractor drinks diesel the way I drink beer, because it's already empty. So this project, is now on hold until I can get some hauled over here, which will probably be tonight. Oh well. Silage crew is up and going. We got 600 ton to haul to a neighbor's pit, and then what else is there? 600 to the neighbor, and then the rest of it goes to the feedlot today. Forgot where we were hauling for a minute there. Three swathers, though, it don't take long to knock out a half circle. The, uh, the real interesting part is the pit they're hauling to is back there where I was hauling sand, that little feedlot there. Well, I got manure there this winter, or this spring. Um, it is a very tight area. The guy using the shed does metal work, so there's metal everywhere. So for the trucks, it's gonna be kind of a little S-curve maze to get to the pit. Be interesting to see where we're gonna put 600 ton. Okay. I am running behind, come to find out. Time to go bail. We got both rakes going. Bart's already up there with the other baler. I'm going to head up with mine. So the first couple bales suck. So these walls squeeze in side to side. And that's what causes your pressure to build a tight bale. So as you can see, with nothing there, there's nothing to squeeze on. So what you have to do is start baling with no pressure. And just slowly crank it up till you get enough hay in there that you can squeeze it but that means your first bale is complete fluff and junk and <laughs> mine is gonna tie really soon there's that star wheel right there that's what controls your bale length so as your hay comes through and that star turns that arm lifts up once that hook gets to that roll that triggers the knotters what you want is like a full bale of fluff to get through before it ties so when it gets back there cut the strings let that bale fall off the back and rebale it later it's it's a long story i'll show you 
first we gotta check for birds because I'm betting there's birds. This poor tractor. It ends up hauling or piling manure all winter. I'm sitting outside. Ugh. Needs a little TLC on the inside. That mirror is close. That one's staring up at the sky. Ah, we'll be fine. Got all my bale counters reset to zero for the year. Got my accumulator on manual so it doesn't try and shift that ugly bale. Bart, it looks like just got his finally primed up. So, now it's my turn. I just got screwed. That tied right away. So I'm going to have two bales to break, just like Bart. There's his second bale. Okay, so back there I finally have enough pressure. But as you can see, this is complete junk. Curious if I can just pull this first one off. Farther than I thought. Alright, push it off the back. Say Bart had two junk bales, now he's doing good. I'm gonna have probably three because of the way it tied two really fast. For some reason my pressure is going crazy too. Gotta keep an eye on that. There it is, my first bale of the year. Isn't it cute? So yeah, you just use the front weight essentially on the tractor to spread it out and rebale it. I don't know why Bart's doing it. Saves me the effort, I guess. I just dropped another one. I gotta go cut it now. So that was bale one. That's bale two. Bale three is a good one. Every year. It usually works out that way. Cut all the strings off of this and let Bart knock it down. It's kind of cool. Got the full hay crew going. You got Bart over there chasing Blanca. Poor Grant's getting a baptism by fire. He's got crappy hay, so he can't hardly find the rows. And I'm gaining on him fast. He'll figure it out. He'll be fine. Little comparison for you. So that field back there has not been irrigated yet this year. This field has. Normally, flood irrigation will buy you about two decent runs, or two decent cuttings, I mean, of alfalfa. But this year, not so much. When Mother Nature doesn't help at all, you wind up having to irrigate things more often than you're used to and so all of a sudden instead of getting across a bunch of ground you get across half the ground just because that soil is so dry it really absorbs it so this field there's a decent chance it'll get irrigated again before we cut it again but as you can see one irrigation makes for a heck of a decent cutting it's not a great cutting but it's a decent cutting i can't help but laugh couple times a year I get in this tractor so this is a 2008 or 9 I can't remember we either had a 7 and an 8 or an 8 and a 9 and we got rid of the older one but both of them have this holes in the window for an optional windshield wiper but apparently if the option isn't put in you just get a tractor with holes in the window so we just constantly have to keep changing out them plugs because they'll sun dry, crack, and fall out. And as you can see, I'm missing one. And I'll bet you this one's pretty brittle. But yeah. So apparently they only make one window. So why wouldn't the side windshield wiper have been not an option, just factory installed if you were going to put a hole in the window but then not put in the windshield wiper? That makes zero cents to me. Anywho, got all this knocked out. 25 acres of junk here, so hey, we've already bailed like 65 acres. We're gonna go do another 20 acres of junk. I'll be stunned if we get four bales on that next field. Been a while since I've ran the 360. This has kind of become Cameron's baby. And with all the issues we're having with it, I really don't mind letting it be Cameron's thing. So this is the tractor last year that had the transmission go out. Gear gave us that 370 to use on what they called an extended demo, where we didn't have to pay for it. It wasn't a rental, but they let us use it for two months because it took that long for them to get transmission parts for this one. Uh, since we got it back, We've had trouble with the drive lines coming out of the transmission.
transmission, dump and oil. That was a simple fix. It was just all the bolts were loose. The problem now we're getting is oil pressure and exhaust pressure sensors. Changed out both of them. We're still getting the code. So now their next solution is a whole new engine wiring harness. I'm sure those, those are real easy to put in and real affordable. Alrighty, gave Blanca a 10 second lesson on how to run the finisher. I'll go hop on the planter. I got one field egg plant. She won't be long, she'll be done here. Bingo! Let's back up and roll them. Oh, I find this frustrating. Between the old shagging wagon and the sprayer, I can't get any closer to the rear door than this. I need to blow out the bird nest again if you're wondering why I need to get close to the door. The air compressor is right inside the door. I'm thinking the air hose will reach this far. I can't get over there unless I go get the other air hose and hook it up on the outside. I just... Oh, and I can't go to the front door because we've got a truck over there getting worked on, so... Oh, I find it frustrating that we've got so much crap we physically can't get to our shop to use the air compressors when we need them sometimes. Unless you want to start hooking hoses together and just... Tired and hungry, can you tell? Left the house at low four six thirty. Here it is, ten till one. I haven't ate yet. My lunch showed up. Literally the same time Blanca showed up, so I gave her a quick lesson. Went to get this. Was thinking, oh, I'll eat it on the way to the field. Then I seen the bird's nest and. Crap, and I just remember I still got to haul fuel at some point today that little tractor so I can finish that project. Awesome. And much like yesterday, fighting with the planter monitor. Made it all the way up here, driving across the field to get here. And all of a sudden it loses the fact that it's a planter. I'm so over this monitor. So I don't know what the deal is lately with this Pro 700. Every day when I start, Lear Row 16 is maxed out. But that's impossible, because they're not individual row clutches. They're all on the same shaft. And I get out and dig, and I'll bet you it's the exact same as the rows beside it. So, I've said for a long time, out of the planters I've been around, because basically out here we got two options. You got deer and you got case because there is no dealer support for anything else. In case the dealer support is 100 miles away. This machine is much better than the deer in my opinion. We love the stuff, the stands, the compaction, the seed slice. The... We love the case compared to the deer. Tech side, it's hot garbage. I'm sorry. I hate, I hate, I hate the tech. And because of the tech and the frustrations with that monitor and the wiring, it really makes me just want to go back to deer and simplify things. Even though I don't like their planter here as much. I don't know. What are you guys running? What do you like? Got those 46 acres done, but it's 4 o'clock. I'm out of seed. I figure I'm better off giving this thing a little TLC, some grease, blow out the radiator and filters because of the dust I've been in, grease up the planter, check one of the row units to see if that's the same sensor we already changed earlier this year because I still have row number 10 driving me absolutely nuts. So I'm going to do that. Look at that dust come out of there. It's amazing when you blow out the radiator and filters, <laughs> how much dirt comes out of that engine because you loosen it all up. Okay, so it's in the middle of greasing. Do you mind? I'm having a conversation with America here. I was in the middle of greasing, tuna pulled up, said, I don't know what, and then told me to go home. Luckily for you guys, that's not what we're going to do. This thing is now greased blown out good to go I'm gonna go park it we're gonna go to the hill 
We're gonna load the seed tender, then we're gonna unhook the seed tender, go get the fuel trailer, go, really? Go put a little fuel in that little loader, continue that project at some point. I might wait till later to do that part though. Might enjoy some air conditioning before doing that because it's like 98 degrees out there or something stupid like that. So yeah, that's the plan. Before doing any of that though, I had to run home. Give me some popsicles. Good old outer pops. Water, sugar, little food dye. Way to go. You guys are never gonna believe who I just saw. Cameron's back! Now, I mean, he's totally been replaced. He's dead to me after taking a four day vacation during one of the busiest times of the year. But Cameron's back! So something the tuna had said before I parked the planter was stuck in my head. And I got up here and I was like, you know what? I better not load the seed tender until I talk with him some more. Plus all the silage you guys were showing up, so I wanted to see how their day went. And actually, you can see how their day went. So they knocked out half circle there, half circle there, half circle right there, and a quarter circle just beyond it. So the silage crew had a hell of a day, knocked out. Uh, local cow calf guys pit we'll actually see that here in a little bit um, but now we may have more corn seed than we need when two days ago we were worried we needed to get more corn seed kind of really depends how moods change after this weather pattern moving in the next two days but what I got out of the conversation is a whole lot of uncertainty so rather than loading up a whole bunch of seed and then going, crap, where do we plant it all? I'm going to hold off till morning because, as you know, plans here always change by morning. I'm going to hold off on loading this till I hear a new plan in the morning. And then I'll figure that part out. So what we're going to do now, flip this around, unhook it, go get the fuel trailer because I still got to haul that freaking sand. Here's the mother fields I was pointing out. So that one right there, that makes three half circles. And then you come over here. Oh, pivot's running. The far end over there is a quarter circle. So three halves and a quarter, which for us on a short day, that's, that's pretty good. This might be the definition of overkill. 990 gallon fuel trailer. Fill up a 50 horsepower garden tractor. I'm too scared to give the pump any any throttle because so I think it'll just spray out everywhere. Sprinkler is on and coming around. See what happens. Hopefully, we got both of these problems fixed for the summer. They need fixed this winter, but hopefully they're fixed for the summer. Here is the pit half the trucks were hauling to today. Got it finished up. Don't know why that pivots off. I haven't got a message saying that it stopped should still be running so that's always fun but anyways guys i'm gonna call it a night i'm gonna go home go to bed catch you guys in the next one check out our awesome sunset see you later